Narciso Rodriguez found himself thrust into fashion's limelight when he created a simple and sensational bias cut wedding dress for friend Carolyn Bessard Kennedy. The media blitz that followed led to Rodriguez setting up his own label a year later. He went on to find a niche as New York's ultimate minimalist designer with a talent for intricate garment construction and impeccable tailoring. My life growing up was pretty normal. I came from a very uh, eclectic Cuban family where, you know, there were all these beautiful women who loved to make clothes and wear clothes. And um, I grew up watching that. And they not only made clothes, they fixed radios and, you know, took things apart and put them back together or they cut hair. And I think that was a great influence uh, uh, on me because I, realized that you could do whatever you wanted to with your hands, like you could make something out of nothing. I, I saw my mother, uh, my aunts, create things, embroider things, uh, and make, make beauty from where there wasn't any beauty. My dream was to be an architect, to build things, to, I don't know, to, to paint, to be a fine artist, but I, was, I always found myself making things and, and drawing things and drawing things that I would then make. And I guess that was what led me to enroll at Parsons School of Design while I was still in high school. Uh, I was very serious about uh, a career in fashion. I was very fortunate to have worked with great designers like Donna Karen and Calvin Klein. Um, when I was in school, my dream was to work for Anne Klein while it was under the direction of Donna Karen and Louis Delolio. And it was such a great experience and, and it made such, a, and it, such an impact on, on my work because Louis was this incredible tailor. He had this, the, these great uh, Itali the Italian tailors working on these impeccable jackets and, and the precision was unbelievable. And I learned so much from him. And Donna was uh, much more about draping and, and the love of fabric and, and sketching. And it, it, was a, it was like being served a giant, uh, a giant meal with, with like a banquet of, of, of stuff that you just could, you know, Partake in. While at Calvin, which was a which a, was a very different experience, I always think of Calvin as being uh, a finishing school of sorts. Uh, you know, it was <clears throat> so much about the creative process as well. I got to work with Zach Carr, who was a genius and and the design director behind Calvin Klein for many years, and and he taught me so much. He was such an elegant man and so restrained and and had such an impeccable eye. Um, a very clean line and, and purity, and I think both had had tremendous impact on on the work that I do. Great defining moments in my career were when I was fortunate enough to design the wedding dress of my best friend Carolyn Bissett to John Kennedy, um, which was both a great. A, a great moment in our personal lives, but uh, generated a tremendous amount of attention. Um, another great moment in my career was when Michelle Obama decided to wear a dress of mine for election night. And I was very proud to be a, a small part of, of such a historic night. It was very, it was very exciting and, and I was as surprised as everyone else. Fall 2010 was uh, inspired by a walk that I took in Brazil down the street. And there are these great patterns on the sidewalk made with these in a mosaic uh, from pale silver and black stones. And, and uh, the sun was low and, and there were these people walking down the street and these shadows, these long shadows uh, were, were cast across these waves and I was photographing the shadows because it was, they were so beautiful and I came back to New York and 
developed all of these um, photographs and, and turned them upside down and, and found these great um, elongated figures, these really beautiful curves falling across the body. And this, this curved line uh, softened my line and made me think of uh, things differently about volume, differently uh, about making things that were as desirable as something that was close to the body. I believe the House of Narciso Rodriguez stands for uh, many things. I think it stands for the great dress that a woman depends on. She knows she can come here and find the dresses she's gonna love today, in two years, five years, hopefully. It's something that someone once called her favorite go-to dress. Um, and, and that made me very proud because I like to touch people's lives beyond making something that's going to appear in a magazine after a show and then you never see it again. I, I love uh, seeing women uh, wearing vintage Narciso and, and, and have them feel like they just got it because it makes them feel as good today as it did when they first got it.